Hello and welcome back to Stellaris Distant Stars, where we are playing as the United Syndicates of Earth in the process of trying to uh, truly democratize the galaxy and uh, also see what's going on on the other side of that L-Gate. Uh, we finally were able to defeat the Guardians of Zanam so that we can claim this Gaia world for ourselves. We have a science ship on the way to look into that. In the meantime, I am going to do what... Um, was uh, recommended to me by um, someone in the comments. I'm actually going to turn this into an anchorage station, I believe. Um, okay, we need to build anchorages before it'll let us uh, do the other thing. And we'll go ahead and disband these defenses too, because we have an ally down here so we don't really need a bunch of defensive stations that'll help our energy economy a little bit appreciate the suggestion um, you guys are set to repair right okay we have a new chairperson sounds good to me there we go okay they must have already been in the process of repairing Sweet. Uh, so we just need, let's see, about 2,700 minerals to, um, System survey concluded. finish, uh, or rebuild the losses that we took. Shouldn't be too hard to come by. Alright, so we're gonna have a bunch of anchorages there. We are capped on influence, so let's do... I don't, there's really nothing to spend it on. So never mind. We have a science ship that is currently doing nothing over here, it looks like. Where was the one that I gave the order to... Are they just hanging out too? Okay, I want you to explore. Research concluded. And we got some barrier point defense, which is cool. Uh, let's see here. Let me grab these subspace sensors. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my science ships. Cause... Okay, I believe... Okay, I want you on automatic exploration. You are closer, so I want you to survey this system. I thought I gave them orders before I saved the game, but I guess maybe I didn't. Maybe I forgot. Give me a moment here. Pause real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to close out of something before I started recording, and it's popping up on my screen and messing with my day. So, Prosperity Traditions, uh, we probably want to get the Energy Path first. Because that is what we're struggling with the most right now. Well, actually, now we're struggling with minerals, so we might have to renew that trade agreement that we had going on. Uh, upgrade our defenses. Fleet enhancement supplied. In all the relevant areas. Cool. Science ship is on the way. Special project concluded. We've completed... Okay, the mining droids are now Mark III mining droids, so that should help our mineral input somewhat, I would hope. Alright, so the Norilga Ancients, they understand that our empire has come into possession of a cache of data containing the brain scans of an extinct species. Taken from the very world they once inhabited, yes we do. Even though your species is still too primitive to utilize this data, we laud your efforts in preserving this last remnant of a once vibrant civilization. As part of our efforts to conserve and catalog endangered species, uh, we'd like to take this data and use it in our cloning technology to bring a small number of the species back to life. Sure. We'll make a copy for you. I think that's fair enough. Hey, they opened their borders to us. That's cool. They were mad at us before because we wouldn't give them one of our pops. 
Now they really like us. What do the Omni think of us, by the way? We have no idea. Not a damn clue. And, uh, the Chroniclers... Chroniclers think we're alright. They think we I included. <sighs> Influence gain energy, so we'll we'll go we'll get another penalty on this if we colonize right away, but System I'm just gonna ignore it. Concluded. I don't like I don't like using sectors when I have fewer than six planets. <laughs> I mean I guess we could create a sector from Sirius all this stuff over here, but why? What's the point? Fleet enhancements applied. Sectors are just not a fun mechanic. <laughs> to be honest. Alright. Survey is a go. We can finally give our construction ship something to do. Diplomatic grants has expired, so we'll renew that. Governing ethics shift in the Boca Sharon nation. They've become more authoritarian, so that means they've become more our enemies. Anomaly found. Migration treaty broken uh, between some people that we don't care about. Continents on Zanam are blanketed in a strange growth that seems at odds with the rest of the planet's flora. Let's take a look. Before we send a colony ship. Exofungus infestation. Of course, of course the Gaia world would have an complete. exofungus infestation. Oh, diplomatic grants. Yeah, we knew about that one. Capacity overload. That's important. And that's the difference between us making a lot of energy and making no energy. We have our genius, well not genius, maniacal scientist studying this exofungus. After intense study and sampling of the growth blanketing the entire biosphere on Zanam, Goli Den Lim reports that the substance is not native to the planet, but rather an invasive fungal life form of unknown origin. The fungus feeds on biomatter, choking out existing plant life and enveloping terrain. Sounds wonderful. Any future settlers on the planet would have to deal with it routinely, uh, with routinely burning back the exofungus. It's unknown at this point if it can be entirely eradicated. Well, that sounds like a recipe for fun. Uh, oh, it's not fully surveyed yet, so we can't build an outpost. System yet. survey concluded. Now it's fully surveyed. And you go explore. Explore the universe with your friends. I don't know why we never explored this system. I don't remember there being a good system reason for that. System survey but. concluded. Alrighty. How much do we need? Like 2,700 to fully reinforce the fleet? Yeah, about 20, 20, 26 and change. Really love to be able to get the technology to start finding these crystals that are supposed to make our ships amazing. If that could happen any time this century, that would be amazing. System survey concluded. Looks like, uh... Well, there's two broken worlds in this system. Three broken worlds. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to have a suspicion that this is a scripted system, my friends. Not that that's entirely impossible. Construction project but the fact that we have a Gaia world with exofungus and three broken worlds tells me there might be a little bit more going on here than uh, what we may have initially suspected. Uh, 
colonize Earth. Oh, we could send a colony ship of mining droids. That would actually, uh... That would actually potentially allow us to deal with the fungus a little bit more effectively. Um... Yeah, let's do that to start with. Let's let's just fill this planet with a bunch of mining droids, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, let's see what would get us the best return for placement. Probably. I'm gonna go with the now. I don't want to lose out on a bunch of research. Yeah, but I do want a bonus to minerals. Yeah, let's let's set it here. Um, yeah, we'll keep the names and all for now. In honor of those who came before. Defense platform hull points is really good, so we're going to grab that right now. Let's see, research grants, map the stars, we're going to keep those running. We'll go ahead and put education campaigns back on, because we have the energy to spare now. Fleet enhancements supplied. Fleet enhancements supplied. System survey concluded without incident. Without incident. Construction project concluded. All right. So we've got three science ships surveying, and we need what? Three, four more Elgate insights. Fleet enhancement supplied. And we need to. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna retrofit all of our populated stations, since we don't need. These little like piecemeal anchorages anymore. I'm gonna replace these with additional trading hubs. And then we shouldn't have to worry about energy for a very long time. Very, very long time. Uh, the Dabax Associated Worlds has become more spiritualist, which probably means that they hate us even more. So. System survey We've got that going for us, which is nice. And we are cranking out a colony ship. Ah. Sorry if I seem a little less energetic than usual. It's been a uh, construction project concluded. We had a we had a holiday construction uh, project in the concluded. U.S. on Wednesday for th for the fourth and construction uh, project concluded. Um, System survey concluded. We were very oh shit. Um, point is, I'm very tired today. Too tired to be dealing with this shit. Um, oh shit. Are they attacking us both at once? Oh shit, okay. Um, I thought they just had a defensive pact, not an alliance. Can they do a joint declaration of war like that? Well, shit. Um, okay, we are now at war. With the Union of Themvor and the Dabax Associated Worlds, but the Kataknor Interstellar League, who have not rebuilt their fleet, as it would turn out, <laughs> are here to help us. Um, we're going to try to get to Churgamor. We'll have to rely on the static defenses in our Arcturus to hold up as long as they can. Um, we're also going to renew our trade agreement with the uh, Zuricorp. Let's see, what can we spare? We're gonna do 50 energy for 25 monthly minerals, putting ourselves on a war budget. Um, probably should keep these upgraded. And then reinforce as much as you can. So yeah, we're gonna run to defend Churgamor. We're gonna 
expect Arcturus to hold by itself. Um, just because it's further away from anything of extremely high value. Science ship sustaining damage. Oh shit. We might lose a science ship. Get out of there! Fleet enhancement supplied. Get out of there! No, oh, we lost a scientist. Alright, well hopefully we can get to Churgamore before their fleet does. So I'm going to keep an eye on everything. Their war goal is just to occupy systems, it looks like. Genetic Improvement Project. Oh, and our Genetic Improvement Project has been completed. So we now have uh, metahumans who are very good at uh, engineering research. Hopefully they can engineer us some weapons to help <laughs> win this war. We do have a level 6 Admiral. She's 94, though, with a whole bunch of really good traits, so I'm hoping that she stays alive for as much of this war as possible. Uh, and we're going to continue reinforcing... All right, well, project concluded. our goal here is just going to be to stay on the defensive. Um, another day, another scientific breakthrough. So we want you to enter orbit Churgamore Station. We'll defend the Churgamore line. Um, if our tourist falls, we'll have to deal with that, you know, when, when we come to it. But our goal is not going to be to strike out at this point in time. Our goal is just going to be to wear them down. Um, relative war exhaustion. Yeah, we just want to wear them down. That's, uh, that's my thought. I mean, because I, I, don't, I don't feel confident that we could go against a heavily defended space station and come out of this on top. Oh, we're missing a war goal. Um, I guess we'll set impose ideology as our war goal. All right, research. We keep getting all of the exploit research or resource techs except for the ones that we have and really need. Uh, military academy. Up growth speed. Let's get some vitality boosters. Let's see if we can keep Sean Lang uh, alive for as long as possible. <laughs> Gotta get her some vitamins. Some serious space vitamins. Alright. At this point, we're just looking for enemy fleets. Awesome. Um... Tachyon sensors, what's going to be of the most immediate use to us? I think probably zero point reactors. We probably won't finish it before the war is over. System survey concluded. We can wait this out. I think we can wait this out. Insult from the uh, bloodthirsty geckos. Research concluded. Yeah, we're just going to keep reinforcing the fleet every chance we get. Um, if you guys want to merge as well. And it looks like there System is a small... Concluded. Nope. Nope, you're going to have to stay here, which means we're going to have to retool something. Um... And take down one of these gun batteries to build a shipyard. Because we need to be able to upgrade without leaving the front lines. Okay. Star fortresses are probably going to be key here. We want to set up a star fortress in Arcturus as soon as possible. Construction project concluded. Okay. Lead upgrade, go for it. Whoops. 
I'm an idiot. Okay. Doc here, just ignore what I say unless what I say makes sense. <laughs> do what I do what I think, not what I say. <sighs> okay. Oh, our tourist station defense platforms can get an upgrade. Fleet enhancement supplied. Okay, so we're gonna take down a gun battery. We're gonna replace it with a shipyard. System survey concluded. I don't want you to retreat to shit. We should just put a fortress there, cause that's like our. If if Chargamore falls, we'll go shit. So we really should have one in the Sturil. Because that's the... Concluded. That is the gateway to all of our inhabited space. If we needed to fall back from Arcturus and Chirgamore, as long as we could hold the Sturil, that would, uh, that would be pretty clutch. But we want to get our fleet up to full strength first, because that is our greatest uh, defensive asset, since they're mobile. All right. Construction project. Complete. So we lost some defensive ability here, but it will be worth it. We need a lot of minerals to uh, get these star fortresses going. So so far they haven't made any moves. The status quo is ticking ticking towards our favor production targets is expired we're gonna definitely renew that system survey concluded so yeah fleet up to full strength is our next highest priority and actually May be able to fleet enhancement supplied. Out of a hundred, okay, yeah, we could we could add more designs to this. So let's add some cruisers, um, as many as we can. Yeah, that looks good. Construction project Soul completed. Station. Keep Fleet on upgrading those. Trigger Station needs upgrades Fleet for their defensive supply. platforms. They've made no effort to aggress so far. So, you know, if, if we want to just run out the clock, that might be an option. Yeah, that relative navy strength is going to continue to change as well. Like, hopefully, <laughs> the Kataknor will build some more boats. That would be amazing if they could uh, they get some more ships in the air. Looks like we can uh, upgrade our influence buildings on the surface of some of these planets. System don't survey know concluded. What it's oh, here we go. Just don't have enough minerals. My OCD may be the death of us if upgrading these buildings ends up uh, losing us the war. Okay, here we go. No movement on the Arturus line yet, but. We have a 10.6k uh, Union of Thembor fleet incoming to Churgamore. So we've got to brace ourselves. Colonization of Zanam is underway. We'll definitely slow down for this battle and get some, some glory shots. So, let's see. Research concluded. As long as we don't have to fight a war on two fronts, I'm pretty confident. We do have a stronger fleet on paper, 
And we also have a uh, highly defensible station to uh, assist us. So this should be... Should be interesting. Battle of Churgamore. Um, I'm actually going to set these guys on passive. So that uh, they will not engage too far away from the station. Got leader lifespan plus 10. Please stay alive for the rest of this war. Robot production, claim influence, leader capacity. Terraforming we don't really care about right now. Um, you know, we're going to grab defense army damage really quick because in the uh, event that they do land on one of our planets, we want to make them suffer as much as possible to get that war score ticking in our favor. Where are they going? Oh shit, are they going after the Katoknor? What is their... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, are there war goals in Katoknor space? Uh... I always forget where you can actually look at war goals. Um... Interesting. Okay. So they may be going after the Katoknor. Which is kind of annoying and anticlimactic, because I was really System getting survey. pumped for the Battle of Churgamore. Construction project concluded. Do they have anything? Like they don't they don't, do they? Because we we fought them last time. <laughs> um Well Shit. Um they're not gonna be able to defend themselves. Wait a second. Are they occupying planets down here? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. You you guys. You're you're like you're like the tiny little yappy dog that that like runs directly into the fight to protect you and you're like, "Oh my god, you're going to get killed, but I have to admire your bravery." Um I mean, you're pulling their fleet away hopefully long enough that we can build up but I'm afraid they're gonna get wrecked and that's gonna add war exhaustion to our side I guess we'll see how it goes construction project concluded okay all we need is status quo peace recycling campaigns we're definitely gonna keep those going Need all the mins, min mins we can get. Holy crap. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, if it's driving up their war exhaustion, go for it. That's crazy that they occupied three planets. Those are planetary systems, right? Oh no, maybe not. Well, good for them. Uh, see, now this is tense, because I don't know. I feel like if we abandon our bastions to go rescue the Katoknor, we lose our really good defensive position. But then they can potentially attack through Kapler, where we just <laughs> dismantled all of our defenses. Uh, and then, you know, they'd have pretty much a straight shot to Seoul. Uh, so that, that may end up being trouble. 